It's Sydney here. What is up? <laughs> Holy shit, I'm so sorry. Steven Seek is staring at me and judging me right now. Hi, it's Sydney. Welcome back to my channel. Did you miss me? Today's video, I thought I would come at you with a everyday makeup routine updated because your girls got eyebrows now i know we're breaking out i'm blaming my period i have done one of these in the past it's been quite a long time but now that i have eyebrows things have changed and i've changed my products a lot actually i'm super excited they're a little more bougier if you will we're excited to show you guys my new updated makeup routine of course you guys can follow along if you have any similar products or you might do i have a bat in the cave oh my god well, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We are almost at 200 subscribers. Let's keep that number up because Christmas is coming. And guys, I am so excited for Christmas this year. I know it's November 2nd and don't judge me, but I am like ready. I want to do the crafts on this channel. I don't, you know what I mean? I want to do the vlogs. I want to do the everything, like all of the things, the baking, the shopping, the Christmas christmas videos like you know what i mean so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss any more of my videos and don't miss my christmas videos coming up so the first thing that i like to use now is a base now i don't do this every single day because i kind of forget but when i do remember i use the bobby brown one it's just like the mini one because no one can afford the full size this stuff smells really really good but it is the vitamin enriched face base i really actually like this base honestly and i'm definitely gonna be continuously buying it because a it smells so freaking good and it feels so good on the skin if you're looking for a good face base just get the travel size one i think it's like 20 bucks or something like that and it smells amazing now on to foundation i really really like this one from maybelline it's the instant age rewind i always love the concealers so i was like you know what let's try out the foundation and i actually really really like it it's only like 13 bucks too and then look at this guys like it's just such an easy applicator too and it's not too cakey it's just like the perfect amount for me and now it's not super covering i will add but i don't know i just i I really like her. All my hair is doing crazy things. And like, look how seamlessly that blends out, though. I do this new thing where instead of dragging my skin down, which gives you wrinkles, guys, so you better change it up. If you haven't already, you probably have, and I'm just late. But I now, like, blend upwards for everything because, like, a homegirl doesn't want wrinkles. Ooh, I totally forgot to tell you what shade I'm in. Ooh, there is also collagen in this, too, which, like, collagen is my lover just kidding i used to take collagen all the time though and it's really nice for the skin and hair and nails but um what shade am i in hmm? i'm in shade creamy ivory now that we all got that blended in our skin i'm gonna go with the instant age rewind concealer now in the color neutralizer we're we gonna go under the eyes And on the nosy posy and of course on our little friends that are on our face for the time being and then we blend i'm sure as you guys know grab your paper grab your pencil because you're gonna want to write this next product up it is my cream conduer conduer cool contour slash bronzer i can't even remember now but it's from refi it's one of our neuter products on sephora um i'm in color sand but like this oh my goodness watch how seamlessly oh hi sister like oh girl so i normally do it there there and then i do a swipe up here and then i normally do a swipe down a swipe down and then a little one under here for some reason but i really feel like it gives me that little thing so now we blend her out always up guys always blend up now i'm gonna go back in with my blender face brush and i'm just gonna basically blend it all together 
next step i do anyways is i put powder on and then i put my cream blush on after but we are going to go in with the super bougie the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish hi you know what for the price i wouldn't buy it though <laughs> i'm just gonna be honest here oh my goodness i'm lucky because i did get this with a gift card so god bless because i wouldn't guys you know me i wouldn't buy i wouldn't pay 60 dollars of my you know what i mean that's expensive it's good though like watch so it looks like this she's really beautiful and I, like it really does i guess like it really really does hide the pores too but i don't know i just don't know if it's like i don't think there's any brush out there that's worth 60 dollars. do you know what i mean that's just that's a lot anyways i'm in color medium by the way so it's really really pretty i was so scared i'm sure you guys probably saw in the other video i was really nervous that the medium was gonna be too dark but it's got like this yellow undertone which i totally have yellow undertones in my skin but anyways um so i found it to really match me pretty damn well you know what i mean oh and if you guys were curious i am just using bh cosmetic brushes this whole entire video i got like a 12 pack from winners for like 30 bucks go to your local winners and go freaking get that because it's real they're just so cheap and they're really good quality actually and that you got a brush for everything literally so onto cheeks i this is my straight up you guys know i've even oh, i don't even know if you guys know do have the rare beauty now this is a newer product i bought but i'll be honest i think milk is the best guys like i have both now this is way more pigmented don't get me wrong this is very hard to work with now it's probably the color i got but it's very hard to work with this i find for me this product but this oh my goodness i got the color quirk and it's a lip and cheek stain but i've never really used it for my lips i mean i could because that'd be really cute but guys this is my favorite cream blush i have ever used like oh my god it just blends out so i know i hi i i put blush everywhere i like to make it look like i just got a sunburn because you know that's the trend hi but like see what i mean guys like hi it just blends out so good and it just oh it's not cakey it's just gorgeous in all the ways possible i'm super obsessed just gorgeous if you guys are ogs you know i'm a huge blush person so you know i gotta put another blush on top i really i'm also liking for powdered form anyways i've really liked the nars blushes i'm using this one's outlaw this is such a pretty color these colors go so well together too also i got this at winners for 15 dollars. so guys you can get your pretty um, bougie makeup at winners for like half the price but like i love this stuff because it has a little bit of glimmer and we love glimmer and shimmer and sparkly things also if you guys are ogs you know i love my highlighter as well I really wanted to show you guys this one because it's really good it's just very expensive and it won't last long i know for the price so i don't use it too often but it's freaking beautiful but like oh look at that oh lord she's sparkling darling oh and if my camera position changes because uh this freaking tripod i'm using is really unstable and it totally fell so now i had to change like how it was standing so i'm sorry but look at this guys oh my god yeah. oh it's so good okay so on top of that we are gonna use of course the one and only champagne pop by becca cosmetics this is the best freaking but like it's broke already and we all know that every single one of our becca highlighters champagne pop in particular always fucking breaks and it's so it's such an expensive highlighter like so expensive that it's like why does it break that easy because i've had two now and they've both just crackled crackled without even dropping i guess i understand why they're discontinued although i'm very sad to this day my favorite highlighter i've been using this shit since high school now it's been five plus years now so wow has it really i'm sparkling now that the face makeup is mostly done we are going to gel the brows now i want to get a better one so comment down below if you guys have a good one i look like just a head okay hopefully this is okay 
Oh. If you guys have a better eyebrow gel, comment down below. I just used the Great Lash by Maybelline and I don't really like it. It literally doesn't work at all. <laughs> Gotta gel those new brows up. I love the fact that I have my brows done. That is the best decision I've ever made. Okay, now it's for eyes. Now I don't do eyeshadow every single day. I got a new eyeshadow palette and like, mm, wait. I showed this in my last video. So if you haven't watched my last vlog, go check it out and go like it. Hello. But look how beautiful this eyeshadow palette is. And it's so pretty for the fall time too. So on the days I do feel like doing my eyeshadow, I go in with this color right here. Which is like this beautiful, like, almost orangey rose gold. And I like to throw that bad boy into the crease. And I feel like this color really, really brightens up blue eyes especially. After that's all blended out, then I like to go into this beautiful freaking color right here. Did I tell you this was the NARS Orgasm palette, by the way? I don't know if I did. It's really small and cute, though. So good for traveling, I feel. This beautiful champagne color we're gonna throw that right under the brow and of course some in the inner corner and now for the sparkly shades so i'm gonna go in with the gold today i honestly for this one i just put it on my finger that looks weird and then i just put it right on the lid so sparkly i love it before I put on my mascara, I this is where I go in with my setting spray just to set all of the stuff that's on my face. I actually did get the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Setting Spray. Of course, the mini size. Come on, guys. You know me. And this I really do recommend. Like, it's only 20 bucks too, which I don't even think that's that bad for a setting spray that's really good quality. Mmm. And it smells real good. Now it's time for the lashes. Now, I actually don't usually wear eyeliner on a regular basis, if I'm being real with you. Sometimes I do, but not very often. Like, at the most, once a week. <laughs> I really just, I don't know. I really like eyeliner, and I think eyeliner looks really good on me. But I'm just too lazy. Do you know what I mean? Mascara time. Grab your curler. I just found this while I was waiting for that setting spray to dry. The Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. I got one in a sample size. And I like I haven't tried it yet. So I was like, what not a better time to try it right now with you guys. And then we can see if this is a good amount of mascara. So let's curl the lashes. It's so tiny. I would say it's like pretty good. I'm going to go put the rest on. I'll let you guys know what I think of it. Damn, in all honesty, guys. I just realized my fireplace was on this whole video, so there's going to be a background noise in this whole video. I'm uploading it anyways. You're welcome. I actually really like this mascara. If I'm being honest, at the beginning, I was like, there's nothing. It's just like a regular mascara. But it's not making my lashes fall down. And it's very good at, like, separating them and not making them clumpy. Let's go do the other eye, and then we'll let you know what I think. And a girl might have to buy this now. Damn. I think it's safe to say that I really like this mascara. It's really nice. Okay, last step is lip gloss. I really enjoy, of course, hello, the mini size. I really enjoy the NARS Orgasm Lip Gloss for an everyday lip gloss. I think it's so pretty, and it goes with this look perfectly. I mean, we just use the Orgasm Makeup Palette. Hello. What do you guys think? You guys like it? I think it looks amazing. I'm being really weird this video. I'm sorry. You guys know, know what time it is. Hit the music. That is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed my everyday makeup routine. If you guys have any questions about my makeup routine, let me know. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, love yourself, give yourself a big old hug. Actually, I learned today, you're supposed to hug yourself. Right hand under the left armpit.
left hand on the right shoulder. You're welcome for teaching you how to hug yourself. But it honestly feels so good. I probably look like a weirdo to some of you, but those kind of people are mean, so F off, but love yourself. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll see you guys later, okay. Oh, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, by the way. And if you haven't already, what are you doing? Go do that right now. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Thank you.